I watched not only him pitch, but watched the interview after the game. 21 years old, uh, it's, he carried himself so well. In seven innings, he struck out 14 Major League Baseball players. He did very, very well. He's right-handed, but he reminded me so much of Sandy Koufax because he throws more than 100 miles an hour. He throws a curveball at about 85 miles an hour. That's, for people who follow baseball, that's remarkable with such great control. But the reason I mention that, Mr. President, is he was a number one draft choice last year for the Washington Nationals. The number one draft choice of the Washington Nationals a couple of days ago is a 17-year-old boy from Las Vegas, Nevada, by the name of Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper, when he was 15 years old, hit a home run of more than 550 feet, which is a Mickey Mantle-type home run that Mickey Mantle didn't do very often. He uh, took the GED when he finished his sophomore year in high school, went immediately to junior college, and played in the Junior College World Series this year. Uh, he uh, is just a wonderful young man, has a great family. He is uh, going to be in Washington playing Major League Baseball very soon. I think he will probably start playing at about the same age in the Major Leagues that Al Kaline did, who was a Hall of Fame baseball player. He throws as well as Al Kaline. He hits probably better than Al Kaline. And uh, Washington is very fortunate to have had to have these two fine young men. Not only are they great baseball players, but from everything we know about the two young men, they're really good role models for young men and women around the country. Charlie, to you for changing the subject. I would say to my good friend from Nevada, I was there <clears throat> and had a chance to see uh, Strasburg. And. As remarkable as the 14 strikeouts that my friend referred to is the fact that he didn't walk anybody. Um, what a remarkable athlete, and we can only hope and pray that his arm holds up and that he has the kind of uh, career that everyone is anticipating. There was a, literally electricity in the air. It was, it was uh, an exciting event, and it was great to be there. I appreciate my uh, counterpart talking about that. I wish I could have been there. Uh, it, but it was, uh, it was uh, really, even watching it on TV, gee whiz, I mean, it really, for those of us that love sports, and I know my friend loves basketball, especially uh, that that takes place in Kentucky and the other sports in Kentucky, but this, is, this was uh, really a remarkable performance, uh, really, for Washington, which has been so starved for a uh, good athletic team of some kind. It was nice. I, when I was, I would say to my friend through the chair, when I was going to law school back here, uh, I watched two Major League Baseball games in old Griffith Stadium. Oh, they were so much fun. I don't know who won. I'm sure the Washington uh, team lost. But I know that the two teams that they played were both times the Yankees, where I watched Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle and Yogi Berra and all those great players. So it's, uh, in this work that we're engaged here, which is always so serious, and um, <coughs> it's nice once in a while to divert our attention to something that is uh, a little more uh, relaxing. And that baseball game last night wasn't relaxing, but sure a lot of fun. Mr. President. The Republican leader. And I certainly join my uh, good friend, the Majority Leader, in hoping that the Mr. next... Mr. President, if I could just... The Majority uh, Leader. My staff just uh, indicated that I said that we wouldn't be in Friday and Monday. We'll probably be in. There's just no votes. Yeah. Friday and Monday. If I could just add one other point. I, the Majority Leader mentioned that Bryce Harper, who was uh, drafted by the Nationals on Monday. Look forward to him being the next uh, Nevada contribution to the Washington area, I right, right that, after my friend, the Majority Leader. I say to my friend, it was... Uh, it's a wonderful story. His brother, who was a great pitcher at Cal State Fullerton, which has won the National Baseball Championship, NCAA Championship, his little brother, who's three years younger than he is, or four years younger than he is, he thought so much of his little brother that he transferred from Cal State Fullerton to a junior college so he could play with his brother. And his, his, the, the elder Harper is a pitcher, and the catcher was his little brother. And um, the boys, the, the uh, senior uh, member of the 
brotherhood of Harper ball players. His record, I think, was 12 and 1 this year. And just another word about Bryce Harper. In that, and junior college or community college baseball is very competitive. The record for the most home runs of any player in junior college baseball was 12. Bryce Harper hit 30. He, uh, his batting average, a 17-year-old boy playing with men, uh, was 450. He uh, won game. Uh, he was six for six. Hit, uh, I think, three or four home runs. So it's an interesting story. What, what one could conclude from this is that next year, when the Senate is not in session in the evening, both the Democratic and Republican leaders will be at the Nats games. I think that's pretty close. Mr. President. Good leader. Mr. President, our nation faces many urgent uh, crises at the moment. Americans are looking for solutions. They're not getting any from Washington. Whether it's the housing crisis, the financial crisis, the debt crisis, or the crisis in the Gulf, what they're getting is a White House and a Democratic majority in Congress that seems more intent on pursuing a government-driven political agenda than in finding common sense solutions to the problems that all of us are concerned about. Americans